Welcome back to the Software Development Lifecycle course. In this lecture, we are going to complete our JUnit testing for our producer controller. We started already configuring and writing some of the code, but we're going to finish that out now. So go back to your setup, and we need to create a vendor object. There we go. And now we need to add some default values. And this is the tedious part. And we'll say it's our vendor's UPS. name is Bob His last name is Thomas, and his address is at 123 Main Street, and his city will be Main Town. Of course, everybody knows Main Town is in Iowa. And it zips one, two, three, four. And it's email is bob at ups.com. And his phone number is one, two, three. Four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay, our setup is complete. Let's clean these spaces up. And then we'll go ahead to our test methods. And we're just going to say assert equals. And if we call the uh, person controller retrieve vendor entry and pass in a per, uh, vendor object and model, it should return back our index. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then we'll go to our test process request. And we will create a model view. Okay. 
actually. Let's call our method. And we'll say assert equals index and we'll just get the view name. Okay, our test unit test is all coded and let's go ahead and quickly test it. And right click run as J unit test. And our MVC is not bound up. Uh, because we don't have our namespace. There it is. And let's build it real quick. Okay, let's rerun this. And it is sending it off. And message sent. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our active MQ. So go to your web browser and active MQ and our broker. And we should have a message in our queue. And there's a message. It should be Bob Thomas from UPS. And it is Bob Thomas from UPS. So we have a successful J unit test. Awesome. Well, we need to add a little bit more and finish up our index page because it's all about presentation. So on to the next lecture.